Hello, my name is Eric Skrullik. Today's Force Point Tech Talk, I'm going to talk about AWS EC2 instances and S3 buckets control. So I have two use cases that I'd like to show. Controlling AWS EC2 instances, blocking creation of non-compliant instances, also a few other, other things that we're able to control. Uh, the second thing is going to be controlling upload and download to S3 buckets, leveraging our DOP policies. So First thing I'm going to do over here, I'm going to my Amazon account, EC2. I'm going to access my EC2 account. I have an instance already running. I'm going to try to stop this instance. I will go instance state, stop. And I got block it. I was not able to stop the instance. Now let's try to terminate this instance and see if I'm able to terminate. I was also unable to terminate. Now what I'm, what I'm going to do is to launch a new instance and launch an instance that is not part of T2 Micro. So instance that is pretty much non-compliant for my profile. So I'm going to try to spin up an instance that is T2 Small, which is not free and eligible. Uh, review and launch, launch the instance. Proceed with L key, acknowledge, and I'm going to try to run the spin up the instance. I just got block. All right, so I showed pretty much the first use case. The second use case is blocking, upload and download. I will show only upload, but you can also do download. I'm going to try to upload files that I have, a file fingerprint policy or sensitive AI information like credit card numbers. So I'm going to try to upload a CSV file that has from, that I export from uh, from database called Finance Fingerprint. And with that, I try to upload. When I try to upload, it will show a blocking action as well. And as you can see, this blocking action, this blocking notification, can be fully customizable, and you can also add hyperlinks over here. So now let's go to the CASB UI and show everything that we did. So pretty much I have two policies, blocking instance creation, uh, action create, instance contains data object instance, and then it is not a T2 micro, I'm going to block. The second one is preventing interactions with EC2 instance. I have data object contain instances, action stop, reboot and delete. So let's take a look in real time monitoring, see those logs and everything that I, I've done in EC2 and S3 bucket. So over here, as you can see, you can see the creation that violated the OP policy, blocking instance creation. And you can see that was blocked. You can see every information what I tried to do. So it was a T2 small type of instance. You can also see my download and my 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 upload of the finance uh, fingerprinting uh, finance fingerprinting file. It violates a finance database fingerprinting policy. And with that, we start building risk scoring for the user. So we start adding points for that user regarding to his activity. So you can see over here, this user has a risk score of 255. And if I click on the user. I can see the whole the whole interaction and all activities that user specifically had. Preventing, uh, you see 85, you can see other activities as well. Thanks so much for watching uh, our Forcepoint Tech Talk today. My name is Eric Skrulik and I'm consulting with Forcepoint.